Hey guys, this is Raghav here from Headphone Zone. Now, I've been having a lot of conversations recently with a lot of different people talking about planar magnetic headphones. They're easily the hottest thing in the headphone world this year. Now, some of you may ask, what exactly are planar magnetic headphones? How are they different from traditional headphones? And what's the big deal around them? Let me try and break it down for you a little bit with this video. Now, traditional headphones use a traditional dynamic driver which basically is a cone-shaped diaphragm and voice coil with a magnet behind them. This basically will convert an electrical input to an audio output. The technology has been around for a long long time, they're very popular and they're relatively inexpensive to make. So what's the problem with them? The problem is that a cone-shaped speaker will basically produce audio very inconsistently across various frequencies. So this basically will mean that the audio that you're listening to is not going to be very accurate. That's a major problem today. At the same time, the entire uh, speaker system has got a lot of joints in them which is stuck together with glue, which with time will deteriorate and your audio is going to get bad with age. Now, planar magnetic headphones takes a completely different approach to solving this problem. In a planar magnetic driver, you basically have two giant, incredibly powerful magnets together. And in between the two, you have a voice coil or a diaphragm, which is one tenth the width of a human hair incredibly thin and lightweight. Now this was stuff that was designed for NASA for its space program and it was used in audio technology very recently. This diaphragm or filament will basically carry the electrical signal which when it interacts with these giant magnets makes the diaphragm move producing audio. It's a very simple concept to try and understand but it's completely innovative in the world of audio. What happens because of this is that the audio is extremely accurate and extremely sensitive. Accurate because you have this giant plane that's producing audio across all frequencies. And this will basically ensure that the bass, the mids and the highs are all getting the due attention that it needs. And it's able to produce this audio across all the spans from a very low frequency to very high frequency at the same time, because this voice coil or the diaphragm is so incredibly thin and lightweight and is being moved by these incredibly powerful magnets, you get a very, very sensitive sound signature which could produce audio from the smallest of electrical inputs. All of a sudden, the music now sounds extremely detailed and accurate. Now, planar magnetic headphones are also incredibly fast. What do I mean by fast? A traditional dynamic driver is slow in that if you take a piece of audio, let's say a piece of drum, then it would sound a bit like sub, 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 sub. Whereas on a fast planar magnetic headphone, it sounds tap, 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 tap. Now you have to listen to some of this stuff to really understand what I'm talking about. But needless to say, a planar magnetic headphone makes the same audio sound extremely clear and detailed. So that's the gist of planar magnetic headphones. What you must keep in mind is that until now, planar magnetic headphones also needed a lot of power. So you typically needed a very good amplifier to drive them. But that's changing. More and more headphones out there like the Odyssey Sign and the iSign don't really need an external amplifier and they've incorporated a way of making these headphones get the power they need through a lightning connector. Also, more and more headphones which are planar magnetic are becoming extremely sensitive and they can be driven with a very, very, very low amount of power. So they could work just fine with a mobile phone going forward. Now, planar magnetic technology is seeing itself being applied in different form factors. Until now, almost all planar magnetic headphones were giant and they had to be worn on the head, taking up a lot of space around you and they couldn't be really carried everywhere. But now we're seeing planar magnetic technology getting shrunk down into very, very small sizes. How they're able to do it is completely beyond me. But now they could be in, on an on-ear headphone like the Odyssey sign and even an in-ear headphone like the iSigns. 
this is very exciting stuff going forward and hopefully this video will give, help you get an idea a little bit about planar magnetic technology and answer some of your questions exciting times ahead guys thank you so much and see you next time this is raghav from headphone zone